Hi everyone, it's Rachel back with the Shades of Orange and today I'm going to bring you a spoiler-free review of The Living Dead by George A. Romero and Daniel Krauss, which is a book that I received from the publisher. This is a piece of epic zombie fiction that is set in our present day. The beginning of the story follows two morticians working in the morgue on a dead body that, as you would expect, begins to reanimate and attack them. They are able to subdue the creature Creature and reach out to authorities to let them know what happened. However, they find out that this is not an isolated incident, but rather a symptom of what is happening all over the world. Now, this is a story told over multiple perspectives, so we also get to see from different characters like a journalist who's working in the media as well as an aircraft pilot. And so you get to see how these different organizations and groups like the media, the military and so forth are dealing with everything that is happening. Now, if you're not familiar with the authors, George A. Romero is of course a very well-regarded horror director who wrote and filmed a lot of really famous horror movies focused around zombies like Night of the Living Dead. And towards the end of his career, he started Started writing a horror novel centered around zombies and this is that book. He was not able to finish it before his death. However, his widow gave Daniel Krauss permission to finish it. Daniel Krauss is of course well known for writing things like The Shape of Water and so this is co-written between the two of them. I want to be clear that this is not a novelization of George A. Romero's movies but rather its own standalone story that is just centered around a zombie pandemic. And and given the background of the authors, this book felt very cinematic, very visual. I could definitely see what was happening on the page. And it definitely has that big epic blockbuster feel to it. In terms of the story, let me start by saying that the beginning was absolute perfection. As I mentioned, it starts out in a morgue with these morticians. And those first chapters were just exactly what I wanted. I am someone who loves a story that has that aspect of body horror in it. And so when you have people in a morgue working with bodies and flesh and blood, it definitely appeals to me. This book is not overly graphic. Despite being a zombie book, it's not grotesque by any means, but I did really love those details. It was such a good way to introduce the story and it felt very well researched. Obviously, I don't know much about the process myself, but it was very detailed and I just found that whole section just absolutely fascinating. The characters themselves, the ones we're first introduced to, Luis and Charlie, are so likable. There's good diversity in there, especially with Luis's background as a person of Mexican descent and the characters are just immediately likable and I was just drawn to their stories and worried for their safety and I think that in terms of a start of a book this one was amazing. However as the book went on I did have a couple things that were drawbacks for me that did hold this back from being a favorite of the year which I was hoping it would be but I still very much enjoyed a lot of aspects. So first is perhaps a very personal complaint, and that's the fact that I wanted it to have more zombies in it. I might be the only horror reader out there that really enjoys the horror genre of zombie fiction, and I was just hoping for a book focused around a zombie pandemic, there would be more zombies on the page. Certainly there were scenes with them, there were some good moments, but there were often chapter after chapter where they were barely even discussed, let alone on the page, and I was surprised how much they were in the background. I am someone who appreciates a zombie book that is more about the characters. A lot of my favorite zombie books are actually like that, but I felt like the zombies were almost non-existent at times, and I just wanted them to be in the background, a little more present and a little bit more in the moment so that you felt that aspect of danger or at least were reminded why we were reading about this pandemic to begin with. I really enjoyed the chapters that were actually written from the perspective of the zombies. I found those to be incredibly unique and some of the sharpest writing in the book. And otherwise, I found some of the other perspectives to be a little bit confusing, a little bit underdeveloped, and I just didn't find myself necessarily caring for those characters as much. And I was just left wanting a little bit more. For full disclosure, I am always a reviewer that prefers horror books that are a little bit more on the shorter side. Typically, I do like books that are very streamlined with a straightforward plot where 
every chapter, every character, every scene is very purposeful. And when you get into the range of epic horror, which is almost its own subgenre itself, you don't necessarily find that. You do instead find a lot of weaving of different perspectives. This book does move over time and of course pass between different characters. And I felt like there was just too much information, too many conversations and things that just felt unnecessary and kind of deviated from the main plot of the book. So while I didn't entirely love this book, there's still so much I appreciated about it and really did enjoy it for the most part. I would still recommend this one to those of you that really enjoy long horror books that are very epic in scale, have a lot of characters, a lot of perspectives going on. If you're drawn to those kind of books, you will probably like this one even more than I did. And I would also recommend this book to people that don't actually like zombie fiction. A lot of those people are so terrified to pick up anything as soon as the Z word gets dropped. But because the fact that the zombies are more in the background of this novel and the characters are much more at the forefront, I do think this book will appeal to those of you that don't typically like the undead. Yes, there are certainly some scenes involving the zombies doing their zombie things, but for the most part, this is really a book about how humans would react to a situation like this. And so if you're just interested in exploring those ideas and exploring a made up pandemic, then this is definitely one you should check out for yourself. So that is it for my review. I would love to hear from you all down below. If you've already read it, please let me know what you thought of it as long as you keep it spoiler free in the comments. Otherwise, I'd love to know if you're considering picking it up. I always encourage people to try out books for themselves because of course, reading tastes are gonna be different. Thank you as always for watching. I of course read a lot of horror as well as some thrillers, science fiction, fantasy. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.